model builder so yeah model builder is basically the capability where you can uh, bring your own models as i explained earlier predictive model generative model whichever model you want to bring in you can bring them on your uh, as per your need and then you can configure it uh, again uh, the content that over that we have over here is kind of explaining the same like you know it enables bringing your own uh, models and configure them with guided workflows it gives you the capability of training the data uh, training the model on the data that you have on salesforce either from crm or either from data cloud you can do that next up we have the predictive analysis generative ai models uh, which we can do with it the next slide it is talking about the shared salesforce llms the third party hosted llms and bring your own model so you have all of these capabilities uh, like salesforce has its own uh, certain shared llms and it has own third party llms as well and then you can bring your own model so i will again jump back to the demo and then i will showcase you how it works so for the purpose of uh, this demo i will showcase you you are into einstein studio and then you have the capability of creating two types of model predictive model and foundation model foundation model is basically generative model in foundational model you have the capability of uh, you know creating a model from azure or open ai these are the ones which are available right now but you can have uh, more in future and then you can provide the name and the key and then you can utilize it if you have fine tuned model you will provide the information over here and then you can utilize it so you can use your own models and then you can leverage them you saw how i chose uh turbo 3.5 or uh, turbo 4 uh, gpt 3.5 turbo or gpt 4 we can definitely use it as per our scenarios whenever we want to next we have uh, predictive models so predictive model is basically you know the capability where you uh, create your own predictive models so if you have been following salesforce then you must have seen you know einstein uh, you have must have seen einstein predictive build a uh, prediction builder so einstein prediction builder was a great tool where you could you know provide uh, data and then you know predict certain things based on the data that you have provided but it was limited to salesforce data only you could only do predictions based on the data that you have in salesforce but with model builder you have the capability of utilizing data from outside salesforce as well So over here if I click on create model from scratch I can choose data model objects now this is where I can showcase you how data cloud and salesforce einstein one are connected so we can choose the data from data cloud and then you know uh, generate models on top of it prediction models and train it accordingly based on the data that we have you may have 10000 records 1 lakh records in salesforce but you may have millions of records on your data lake house that you have connected with data lake in salesforce like in dlm object and then we are utilizing it so for the sake of the demo we have created uh, this particular stream and we can utilize it you can again configure it and then you know you can use uh, what field you want to kind of predict on and then you can choose and everything so you can do that now i will show you what we have already configured so what we have already configured is we have configured a object equipment for a manufacturing industry where we are capturing all the equipments that they have and the data in those you know fields for each of the equipment gets populated on a daily basis and we identify the failure probability so for the sake of this demo i have going to kind of you know create this so this is a equipment that we have and it has a high chances of failure the data that we are using not the data but the attributes that we are using for prediction is air temperature process temperature rotational speed tool wear talk so we are utilizing all of that information for predicting whether it might fail or it might not fail how well our model is we can see that as well so this is the model that we are using predicted equipment failure it can give us this clarity like the performance is 9093% 99.99% and uh, the accuracy is 987 and all of that information like false positive false negative it is giving us all of that information that you can use to understand how well your model is trained and what are the top predictors for your uh, failure of your uh, equipment so i will come back over here so i will clone this record because uh, 
I cannot edit that data stream from data lake, so I will clone this record for the sake of this demo. I will, uh, you know, remove the target, which is kind of creating the uh, probability, and I will change the product ID as well. And I am going to save it. As soon as I save it, you can see the failure probability is not populated right now because. Prediction builder is right now running and it is generating that probability. And as soon as I refresh it, it has run. Uh, okay, just a second. It is still running. Hold on. It's still running. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Yeah, just give me a moment. Not sure. Did I deactivate it by somehow? I don't know. Just a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it this one? Was it this one? So the failure probability will be populated, and uh, based on that, I'm not sure why it's not being populated. I did create this record uh, right before this demo, I believe. You can see the time, like, oh, but yeah, no issues. So yeah, the probability will be created and populated based on the you know model that we have created, and you can then use it uh, according to you. So in this scenario, I'm utilizing it over here. You can use it wherever you want. You can use it in your data cloud, you know, uh, predictions as well. So you can leverage that. So again, moving back to our uh, slides. Yeah. So in slides next we have Einstein prediction.